I've been needing to burn the scraps in the scrap bin container. However, I've been putting it off because there's a project that I've been wanting to get done with it. So I decided to take the time today and do that project. I've been using a lot of three quarter inch cabinet grade plywood here lately. So I went through the bin and pulled out all of the scrap pieces I could find. Then I went to my lumber rack and found a piece of 3 8 inch plywood that I'll use as well. The first thing I did was trace out the image that I wanted, which I'm using an AW, which is my husband's family cattle brand. However, you can use whatever you personally want, a letter or an image. Once I had the drawing portion done, I came back and used a jigsaw to cut it out. Then I came back with some sandpaper and just knocked down the rough edges. Now that that back template is done, I grabbed the different scraps and started laying them on the board, just playing with different layouts until all of the back template was, was covered. You can make your pieces here as big or as small as you want and in any orientation that you want, but the key is just to get the entire template covered up by scraps. I really tried to change up the grain orientation as well as using small pieces mixed with larger pieces. I found it easiest to take the very large scraps and first cut them down just randomly at the miter saw and the table saw. This way you kind of have a bunch of smaller scraps on hand to just kind of play around with. Once I would get a small section done, I would remove it piece by piece and glue it down and then come back with my brad nail. Now I'm going for a more rustic piece. So in my opinion, the brad nail holes just kind of add effect. However, if you want more of an elegant finish, then you can just use glue and weight, weight the pieces down. I know it looks funny right now, but bear with me. Now you can definitely use a router and a flush trim bit in order to go along here, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use a jigsaw. Before starting on this step, I would let the glue dry for about an hour so that the pieces don't end up popping off, especially the smaller pieces that you use. Even though I waited an hour, still two pieces ended up popping off of mine, so I just picked them up off the floor and then glued them back into place. I personally think it came out pretty cool looking. I think that you could uh, take the same idea and do a lot of cool different designs with it. This will be going on a stained wooden background, so I decided to go with weathered gray for my finish. But I didn't let it really sit that long. I would put it on and then immediately take it off because I don't want to hide all of those varying grain directions. To get the sides, I put it on some bench cookies and then came back with a foam brush. Then I let it dry for around 20 minutes. Today's video is sponsored by lynda.com. lynda.com is an online learning platform that has over 3,000 video courses on it. If you go to lynda.com slash April, then you'll receive a free 10 day trial. Maybe you wanna master Excel or learn how to build a website or even boost your Photoshop skills. There are literally thousands of courses that you can take that are taught by professionals that are passionate about teaching. What I personally like about Linda is you can watch them on your own schedule. You can download the tutorials and watch them on the go. So if you have a road trip coming up, why not learn how to use a DSLR camera or how to edit together video for all of you out there who want to start a YouTube channel. Your Linda.com membership will give you unlimited access to thousands of videos all for one flat fee. So if you're interested in exploring other types of courses that you can get into, then go to Linda.com slash April and get a free 10 day trial. This thing is of course not balanced because the left side is heavier than the right. So I placed a picture framing nail on the left side so that I can kind of use the left side of the, of the W to catch on that nail and make it hang level. And these letters I cut out on the bandsaw and used my brad nailer to put them in place. Hmm. I think I made that look too skinny. 
Okay, so this is a very quick and very easy project. This is something that, that your wife or even you could make as Christmas presents for family and friends that would be very, very cheap and uh, you can make a lot in a short amount of time. You could do individual letters, you can do an entire name. I'm even seeing like uh, maybe animals in a nursery, a giraffe and a monkey, kind of with the same, same style. Or you can even do a tree. I think that, that would be really beautiful with the, with the kind of texture and the dimension that the, uh, that the pieces add. Yeah, I think a tree on a wall would be really pretty. I wanted to make this for above my fireplace, so I thought I would film it and pass it along. I hope that you're able to put your scraps to good use, and I will see you soon.